All right, what's going on, everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. And in this video, we are going to be talking about Gotham Knights. So Gotham Knights is a very polarizing uh, upcoming game. I think it releases in about a week, uh, October 21st. Yeah, it's about a week from now. Um, and ever since we first saw Gotham Knights, right, I think we I think it's been like three years now. I think that first showing and that first demonstration demonstration of Gotham Knights um, was pretty promising. I think a lot of people were excited about it um, at that first showing. But ever since then, um, the demonstrations and the showings of the game have left people a little bit unsure and a little bit skeptical. And I've definitely been an advocate um, and a believer in this game. I'm still going to buy, you know, the game. I have it pre-ordered on, on PC. So I still think it's a game that I'm going to enjoy, right? But I think there are other things about this game that mainly due to the, the developer that obviously leaves even those like me uh, very worried, right? Um, because there's a lot of been there's been a lot of criticism of this game, such as you know the what seems to be the slower combat and the and the animation, which I don't necessarily think um, is a bad thing. I just think that. WB Montreal took a more uh, a more grounded and slower approach to combat, whereas people with the Arkham series are very much used to uh, Batman kind of zipping around, not in a grounded way, flying around, you know, uh, you know, the scene to fight villains. He could be, you know, 20 feet over there and then you he could like just slide 20 feet in the opposite direction to take down an enemy, kind of just this free-flowing combat with no limitations um, based in realism. And people like that. There's nothing wrong with that. The combat was great because of that, right? But I don't think that necessarily made uh, Gotham Knights a, a, a bad uh, method and a bad way of, of taking on combat. And I think the other criticism was uh, that I especially heard early on was like people just want to play as Batman. You know, people, people were like, oh, we don't... Some people were like, oh, we don't care to play as, you know, Robin or uh, or... Um, Nightwing or Batgirl or, or uh, Red Hood. And I think those are a lot of like casuals who really don't know about the um, the fascination and and how layered these characters are. Right. You could you because you could absolutely make the argument that characters such as Nightwing and and especially Red Hood are just as interesting, just ha have good have just as good as a story um, and are just as fascinating of a character as Batman, even even Batgirl, you know? So it, it, to me, I think a lot of these people don't know anything about like the history and, and the details of these characters and haven't really watched the animated series because DC animated movies do an amazing job with the Bat family. Like Tim Drake is not necessarily my favorite Robin. I don't think he's, he's you know, the most interesting um, Robin, but like I said, Nightwing, Batgirl, and Red Hood are amazing characters. And to me, anybody who says otherwise just really has nothing, doesn't know any anything about these characters. Anybody who says these aren't interesting characters, honestly, probably doesn't even know that much about Batman, you know, other than what's on the surface layer. Because if you know any, if you know much about Batman, then you would inherently know a lot about these other characters in the Bat family, right? So I think a lot of I think a lot of the criticism is um, not valid. Some of it is. But to this news that we got yesterday, right? Uh, first, it came out as a rumor that Batman uh, Gotham Knights, excuse me, Gotham Knights, not Batman Gotham Knights, but just Gotham Knights was going to be limited to 30 frames on consoles. And I was like, no way. No way. This, this, this can't be right. And then we got the confirmation, right? From uh, Floor Marty, uh, she is the executive producer on Gotham Knights, and she confirmed this in the in the Gotham Knights Discord channel. She said, "I know many of you um, are wondering about the availability of a of a performance mode for Gotham Knights on consoles. Due to the types of features we have in this game, like providing a fully untethered co op experience in our highly detailed open world." It is not as, as straightforward as lowering the resolution and getting a higher FPS. For this reason, our game does not have a performance 
quality toggle option and will run at 30 FPS on consoles. So here are my issues with this, right? At this point, ha not having an option for a performance and fidelity mode is just unacceptable. If this was last gen, absolutely, we, we could understand, right? We could have dealt with that. But standards have changed. Almost every game on console, I can't really think of a game I played recently on consoles that didn't have a performance mode option. Bro, I just played D.O. Field Chronicles, which is a game that, that's, it's a strategy game, and it really doesn't need a performance mode option, but it has one. And you could argue, okay, technically that's not that hard to put a, put a, a performance mode option in a game like that, right? Because they're saying, they don't have one due to technical reasons, but I'm just, I'm just not buying that, right? Standards, standards change. You need to have a performance mode. And also, mind you, she says, due to the type of features we have in our game, uh, blah, 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 like the untethered experience, it's not as straightforward as lowering the resolution, meaning it's not impossible. It can be done. Matter of fact, Literally, right. I will tell you right now, I guarantee you they will patch in a performance mode. I guarantee you it will happen. What this leads me to believe is there is some incompetency when it comes to WB Montreal. Something, it is their fault, something on their end, something they're lacking I don't know whether it's time, resources, whatever. It shouldn't be resources. Maybe it's time has led them to not have a performance mode option ready. That's still being incompetent. That's, that's, that's something on your end. That's a problem on your end. You should have this ready. There, it should be ready. We saw this game, like I said, it feels like three years ago. It feel, honestly feels even longer than that. So you're not telling me it's not possible. You're, you're essentially telling me it's not easy. That's literally what this translates to. It's not as straightforward as lowering the resolution means it's not as easy and we haven't figured it out yet. I'm not a developer. I'm not saying it's easy. But being that I'm the consumer and not the developer, I don't give a fuck how easy it is. My job as the consumer is to expect certain things from you as the developer. So you need to have this done. This needs to be here. It should be in there at launch. I don't care how you get it done because that's not my job. You get paid how you get paid to figure out these things. What I'm supposed to do when I'm paying money for, for, for this, even though I'm not getting this on console, I'm getting it on PC. I'm still going to play it on PC, right? Even though I'm... I feel like a lot of things with WB Montreal is is amateur hour, right? I'm still going to play the game because I still feel I'm going to enjoy it. But still, as the consumer, I expect things. That's all my job is. If I pay, if I pay for your product, it's my job to expect things and to demand things. So I'm not buying that. So on top of on top of it's it can clearly be done. Right. Other like all other games have this because it's a standard. You, one of the worst parts of this is the game comes out in about a week and they weren't going to say anything. Anything. If this apparently didn't leak and the rumor didn't come out, they would have let the, just let this game release and you would have found out on the day of release that on consoles, it doesn't have. A performance mode so people who who would have bought it on console would have just been asked out expecting and assuming due to standards nowadays that it would have had a 60 frames option so now you just literally screwed someone out of their money under like lies and i guess you can say i guess you can say they never actually said there was going to be a 60 frames mode so it's not technically lying but omitting information can still be seen as a form of uh, misinformation and, mis and misdirection. So the fact that you weren't going to say nothing, you were purposely keeping it a secret, is very worri worrisome because what else, what the hell else are you keeping a secret about this game that we don't know? What, what else are you hiding that you don't wanna, want us to know about this game? That's a problem. Because it... it, it 
it's it's more than it being locked to 30 frames. It's the secret. Now I got to worry about like what else? You, it, it creates waves. What else are you keeping a secret about? I, that's a problem. And then the, the other fact is they canceled the last gen versions, which is a good thing. And usually when last gen versions are canceled, it's usually because you want to uh, create the optimal game based on the most powerful hardware afforded to you. But you cancel the last gen versions only to lock the next or current, the next current, whatever you refer to, you know, this current, this, this gen as only to still lock it at 30 frames. That don't make too much sense. That's just dumb. And most of you know, a lot of you probably know, I have a bet with Kofi and Tony that Gotham Knights will get above, uh, will get an 80 or above on Metacritic. Now, getting an 80 or above on Metacritic is not like insane for like the average game, if you get what I'm saying. Like an 80 isn't like shooting for the stars. An 80 is good. An 80 is, is good. Like, you, look, you know, a lot of games s accidentally stumble into an 80. You know, a lot of decent games stumble in, into an 80. To get an 80, all you really got to do is get um, enough people that absolutely love the game to give, to give it, you know, a few 9s and a few 10s. Even if it gets mixed reviews, you know, some some games in the 80s have like uh, seven or in, have 70 scores or even 60 scores. You just need enough. You just have to create a game that is just just enough to get an 80 you know what i'm saying like you don't have to be the best game to get an 80 you don't even have to be a great game to get an 80 and i expected you know based on what we've seen with this game what will you show like no this, this this can get an 80 i mean that that's like you know that's literally saying to your child you know in school like bro you can get a b or a b minus you know what i'm saying like maybe a you know i I don't a C plus probably wouldn't fall into the 80 category, but bro, you could you could push to you could push forward and, and like barely get an 80. So I'm saying like I didn't have the highest, you know, I didn't. It's not like I said this game was going to get a 90. I didn't. I don't expect that at all. I'm not nuts, but I, you know, I, I'm thinking an 80 is achievable. So. I, I just and this is this is a game that and a lot of people say, you know, 30 frames is, is playable. It's playable. But in a game like this where it's about um, combat and, and fast, fast movement and action. Yeah, 30 frames is, is far from ideal in a game like this. This game is all about m movement and action and, and fighting. So these type of games, 30 frames is less is a lot less acceptable than than other games. I'm sorry. So, like I said, I think I'm not mad at if people on console cancel their uh, cancel their um, their pre-orders. I, I kind of think you should. I kind of think you should to tell them like, yo, this not acceptable. Like I said, I'm still going to be playing on PC because the PC version with all the, uh, you, you know, with all the features that they put out in the PC trailer, it seems like it's going to be a, a great PC version, but. Who knows? That may be bug riddled. Who knows? The the previews of, of Gotham Knights have been mixed, but still seem somewhat, you know, promising. It could be a, a hit or miss in, in certain areas, but se still seems to be a possibly um, enjoyable experience. But just to uh, just to wrap up this point, like, yeah, y'all are nuts for that. Like WB. Montreal. I don't know what the hell's going on over there. Like, yeah, people brought bring up the fact that, yeah, they made the uh, Batman Arkham's Origin game, which is the lowest rated Batman Batman game, right, in the Arkham series. Sure. But what was that, like, eight years ago? You know, I like to give studios a little bit of credit. I'm assuming they learned a lot since then. They've matured a lot since then. They've gotten, you know, um, the talent together and uh, gotten better. I would assume so, you know, learn from their mistakes, but uh, maybe not, maybe not. So completely unacceptable. There's no excusing it. Um, even for somebody like me who still, you know, very much looking forward to this game and uh, might have to pay, uh, pay Tony and Kofi. It was, it was chump change anyway, you know, the bet anyway, but it was, it, it was more about the principle than the money. Right. So we, we'll see. Uh, we will see. It's funny because the only thing that I'm only reason I haven't paid them yet is because 
developers, I mean, uh, reviewers honestly don't negate points for games being um, 30 frames, honestly. It, you, there's not really a case of that. Inconsistent frame rates or low frame rates, sure. But a game being locked to 30 frames, there's not necessarily a precedent for, um, for points being negated due to that fact. Um, because if that was the case, a lot of Nintendo games uh, would lose points. But we know Nintendo games are rated on a different curve. But either way, it's going to be interesting to see the scores. Uh, let me know what y'all think about this, man. Um, does it bother you that it's 30 frames? Do you not care? Are you, buy are you picking up Gotham Knights? Let me know what y'all think. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Hit the notification bell. And um, I'll catch y'all on the next video. All right. I'm out of here. Peace.